Andrew isn't the only Cuomo trying to stage a comeback. In the wake of the failure of Charles Barkley and Gail King's primetime talk show, sources at CNN have been gossiping about the network's next move. The top brass are pulling their hair out trying to find a solution before the election really heats up, said an insider. They have Anderson Cooper, but they're saying they need another Chris. In 2021, Chris Cuomo was CNN's highest-rated primetime star. But he was fired by then-CEO Jeff Zucker after allegations he provided assistance to his bro, then Gaw. Andrew, on how to combat sexual harassment allegations leveled by former aides. After his ouster, Chris filed for arbitration, demanding $125 million from CNN over his exit. He also landed a new gig at News Nation. Last year, Variety reported sources as saying part of Zucker's reasoning for axing Chris was to ingratiate himself with incoming Warner Bros. Discovery boss David Zaslav. Zucker, who adamantly refuted the Variety report, was pushed out himself in 2022. A source told Page Six this week, CNN insiders say there could be a deal to be made with Chris down the road. This is already being whispered about and discussed quietly, but still unofficially. Management has changed, and CNN could be ready to move beyond the old issues, especially since they have not been able to replicate Chris' success with their audience. The source also told us, although Chris isn't talking about this openly, it's generally accepted by his circle that he misses his old job, loves being on TV, and making a difference on national topics of interest to everyone. He wants to be in Israel reporting on the war. Reps did not get back to us. American audiences love a comeback, the source added. It remains a long shot that CNN would amicably settle Chris' lawsuit and bring him back. But stranger things have happened in TV when it comes down to ad dollars and almighty ratings. Cuomo has previously said of his time at CNN in a podcast interview with Anthony Scaramucci, I wasn't set up to be. I wasn't the big name there. I didn't have the big team. They didn't do the advertising about me. But I was still number one. Why? Because it was the best show. Because I was giving people what they needed in that moment.